Hey y'all, welcome back to Mrs. Lynn's Cooking. Today we're going to make state bear sausage dogs. All you're going to need is, I've got uh, two bell peppers that I had cut up earlier and froze them. And then I've got two packages of link sausage and one onion. Okay, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to take your sausage and I've cut mine in half. Make sure you butterfly them because what you're going to do is you're going to need to get out um, a lot of that fat out of that sausage for your peppers and onions. So the first thing we're going to do is about a teaspoon of water. Yes, water. And then you're going to lay these in here and then you're going to put them on a lid on them afterwards. And we're just going to fry up our sausage like you would do for breakfast sausage. And they're going to shrink up. So don't worry about that. It's sausage. It will shrink. And we're going to get these all in here. Or as many as we can. Until they start shrinking up on us. And then once they start shrinking up, then we can add more. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of cheat and put the bigger ones in here. They're not completely done. And But the, they will all cook. And then we're going to put this on like a number six with a lid on it until the sausage is fried nicely. Okay, you can see that our sausage is about done. And this is what we want it to look like when you pull it out. And you're gonna put this onto a plate and we're gonna um, add this back in after we get through with our onions and peppers. Okay, we pulled our sausage out. I've turned the burner down to like a number four. I was cooking it on a number five. First thing we're going to do is I'm going to add in my onion. The reason I'm adding these in falls is because I cut up my peppers earlier. And what I'm doing is they got sauced on me in the freezer. So we won't have to cook those as long. And we're just going to kind of let this cook down um, a little bit. They're still going to be a little crunchy, but they're going to be soft. Okay, you can see the onions are getting soft. And before they get too soft, then I'm gonna add in my bell pepper that I had already cooked or cut up. And we're gonna mix all this together. And then we're gonna get it to where it cooks down to where it's nice and soft. And that's all we're doing. And we'll stir it up a little bit because you want to incorporate it with all of that sausage grease. And these make the best sausage dogs, and you don't have to wait for a state fair to get them. My father-in-law used to love this recipe. Okay, so we're just going to let this cook down for about maybe five minutes. Okay, we've got our sausage done, and we've done our peppers and our onions. And what we're doing is we're just going to make sure that you can see that they're soft. So at this point, then we are going to take our sausage that we cooked all layer, and we're going to put it right back in the pan. And what this does, it takes on the flavor of the onions and peppers. And this will sit here in this for about maybe a minute or two. That's all it needs. Put these back in here. Put the lid on it. And like I said, just let them cook for about another minute or two. And your sausage dogs are done. Okay, our sausage dog is done. What I've done is I nuked a hot dog bun in the microwave for about 10 seconds. I put my sausage peppers on the bottom. That way they stay put. And I just took my sausage and cut it lengthways. And the sausage dog is done. So if you like my recipe, please like and subscribe. 